What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're back with our second review 2-in-1 of the WWE Elite Greatest Hit Series 2 figures with the re-release of the Hall of Champions Undertaker and the WrestleMania 30, WrestleMania 14 Shawn Michaels Elite. Now both of these I think go hand in hand, not necessarily hand in hand, but I think Undertaker and Shawn Michaels meeting together in the review makes a lot of sense for me. This figure I've owned a couple times in my life. I've owned both of these a couple times in my life, but I have since given this figure away. I've customized it. I've done so many things with this figure originally that I'm very happy to have another copy of this with updated articulation and detail. And then I already had this Undertaker, but this new head sculpt, new things going on with it. I'm excited for it. I think these are two solid additions to the Greatest Hits Wave. I don't have any issues with them. I'm looking forward to them. So here they are. If you guys would like to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But here these guys are. I think they look pretty good in package. You know, it's your standard elite package with greatest hits at the top like we talked about on the side you get a nice shot of the two men there on the back you get another shot of the two men there would love to see the figure actually come with the championship but who am i brad rest of the figures in the wave names on the side and that is our packaging for our greatest hit series number two man so with those things being said let's crack these guys out of their packaging find out where they stand and see if they are better or worse than their original counterpart Alright guys, so here's Hall of Champions Undertaker or the Greatest Hits Undertaker and the Greatest Hits Shawn Michaels figures out of the packaging. I'm enjoying these, you know, again, they are re-releases. What do you expect out of the Greatest Hits line? What's crazy though is that they've updated this figure. I know that, like, they've updated these in some ways. They have changed them up slightly, and I guess it's not enough that, like, a Seth Rollins, like yesterday's review would be, you know, where it's like a entirely new formula, all these different things, but you know how they said, well, we can't just, that'd be like a whole brand new figure. Year. I don't know how I feel about that. Couldn't you just redeco the Elite 93 or the top talent Seth Rollins? Would you have to do a brand new figure? I don't know. Who am I? You know, I don't know all the ins and outs. I'm just giving my opinion. Nonetheless, man, how we're going to do it is Undertaker's accessories and Undertaker, and then we'll run it back and look at HBK's accessories and the Heartbreak Kid. Alright man, so for Undertaker's accessories, you get a world championship just like the Hall of Champions. Classic, right? I mean, you re-release, you get the same exact accessories. Uh, we've seen this championship before. It's a beautiful championship. One of my favorite world tag championships of all time. And then outside of that, you do get gloved, mic-holding, magical, sexy hands with black pegs, so that's good. And then, like, the Ultimate Edition, you get the left hand, like, wide open gloved hand, and then you get the throat cut style hand. Or the style hand that would be good for Chris Benoit. And for our Undertaker figure itself, I mean, this is pretty much the Hall of Champions, just with slightly bigger arms, double jointed arms, interchangeable hands, and a slightly better head sculpt. And we'll get into that with a comparison shot, but nice looking head sculpt here. I think it shows a good likeness to Undertaker around the time. I really like it. Just reminds me of, like, Nintendo 64 Undertaker is what it reminds me of at WrestleMania 2000. You know, that style of Taker. But this looks good, man. I'm, I'm digging this a lot. I always like this version of Taker. You got the logo with the, you know, like the outline. It's like on the singlet. And he's all big and jacked. Nice jacked arms. You got the gloved hands, the gauntlets. Nice tights on there. Got the gloss and the matte black. And then it goes down into some black boots. It's not like overwhelmingly crazy good. But I do like this head sculpt, you know. You're not getting like a ton of immaculate things going on here. But, you know, I think it's serviceable. It's a serviceable Taker. And I think it gets the job done. We're going to bring in the Hall of Champions version and you guys are going to see like it just looks like a dated version. This looks like a dated version of this figure. This looks like an update of this other version and it looks better. It really it does. It looks better. I, I don't care. I think the color is probably more accurate. It's like a lighter pink compared to like a darker red. You can't really tell here but that is the case. And then you want to talk about these head sculpts. I mean which one looks better bro? This one looks better. It just does. I don't, I don't really care. This one looks more cartoony. Not that this one's bad. This is a great figure for the time but the new re-release is better I would say I, I have no you know problem saying that whatsoever I prefer the greatest hits version and uh yeah I would endorse it I like the double jointed arms I like the jack more jacked arms he just looks like a more badass complete figure he looks like he stands a little better too so I don't know I, I'm digging it and then for Shawn Michaels accessories you get entrance gear which we did see with the last version now I don't know how similar they are I want to say for some reason these look like they have a darker wash but I could be wrong but you do get the little leg shackle deals here which is kind of interesting, you know, you get like this nice sculpted thing, you know, it's not, it's rubber but it's not terrible, you know I'd, I think I prefer the Defining Moment style cloth, I guess, but it's not horrific I think the Ultimate Edition did it right where it's like a mixture of both, I don't know how you do this cloth though, you know, so it's like chain mail and then you got like, you know this different stuff, it does clasp on there 
looks good on the figure and everything. It's just, you know, it's not, it's not the worst, but it's definitely aged. And then you get the vest here, which is very similar style. It's got like the gunmetal gray dry wash, and it's got like some little charms and stuff on it. It's okay. It's not terrible. You know, I think it works. I think it's just a job done. I don't like how it clasps around the legs, though. Like these little holes here. That kind of bothers me, but who am I? And then outside of that, you do get red molded with skin tone painted on, which is actually really nice because now we won't have to worry about like skin tone kind of showing through. And the pegs are red, so that's good. Fisted hands. And then we have mic holding hands in the same deal. So you get the sexy mic holding hand for, for the sexy boy. All right, man, this Shawn Michaels pretty much rules ass. I mean, look at this head sculpt. This is so good. This is the best Shawn head sculpt they make, man. It just looks so good. The era, the, the braids. I mean, this is just a badass Shawn Michaels, man. This guy right here beats your aid in your sleep. Look at him right there. Chest hair looking good. You know, I, I love it. I love the formula. Double jointed arms. He's got the gear going. Love this gear. Always have. I think it's very clean. The red pops off nice. It's got a good color going to it. You got Degeneration HBK with the X behind the heart. I mean, you got a lot of good stuff going on with this guy. You know, I wish he had knee pads to be honest, but you know, they've always done this and they're not going to add stuff as they said. Also notice that they made this red, which is actually more accurate. Like his, like he didn't wear like these kick pad style boots. He actually wore like the either, it was either between the dirt bike boots and then he had the flaps similar to like Dolph Ziggler and Edge in the like mid 2000s. So that, that's more of what it's like, but you know what? Mattel never does it right. They deco on his boots into kick pads. It makes no sense. Honestly, we should throw more more fits about it than we do, but here's the figure. Puzzle around with the best of them. You got double jointed arms. You got ball joints. I mean, what else could you possibly ask for? But for your Sean figure comparisons, here we have the ringside exclusive DX Sean, which I put this original figure's head sculpt on and then painted the braids green for extra figure surgery. I love this fix up right there. I recommend people trying that one themselves. Then you have the two ultimate editions here. Plenty more Sean's to come. I, I love collecting Shawn Michaels figures. I am missing a couple, and so I definitely want to track those down. Down. And this was being the ones that I was missing from Mattel. So, I don't know if I'll track down the OG. I might one day, if I found it for a really good deal or at a con or something for a decent price, I might pull the trigger on it just because. But this is a nice Shawn Michaels collection, and I, I really enjoy this Greatest Hits figure. It's a beast. But I think that pretty much wraps up our WWE Elite Greatest Hits Series number 2 review on The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels, man. I think the Shawn Michaels is enough of an upgrade. I really like the head sculpt. I like the, you know, I've, I've liked this figure originally. Again, I've owned it two, three times before. Always customized it. Always despised myself for doing so. This is my favorite Shawn Michaels head sculpt before this re-release. This was my favorite Shawn Michaels head sculpt. I just think it captures Shawn Michaels the most. And I wish we got that on, like, his fan takeover, like his Ultimate Editions. I don't feel like... Like look this much like Sean. I think this is the premier Sean Michaels head sculpt. I think it looks the most like him, and I look forward to more Sean's using this likeness. I don't know how they can recapture that. I think, you know, the hair sculpt's nice. Double jointed arms. It's a beautiful figure. It always has been. I like the entrance gear. I think, again, with the greatest hits wave, I'm kind of torn because I'm on the, I'm pretty much in the camp of if you already have it, do you need this? But if you missed out on them, go get them. So that's kind of where I am on the greatest hits wave. If you guys are interested these. You can go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% over there. Shop these. I like the Hall of Champions figure. I think this one is a slight upgrade to that to that figure. You know, you get double jointed arms. You get slightly bigger arms. Head sculpt is probably more accurate, or at least it has better likeness, I think. I don't know, man. It's all up to you. You know, you saw the comparisons. You got to make your own judgment. I know Shawn Michaels, I don't have that figure specifically, but you got to see a little bit of what you're getting there. I like these a lot, man. So if you guys missed out on these, definitely grab them. You know what I mean? Like, this is another opportunity. If you look at the Greatest Hits wave, it's almost like we're getting brand new figures, you know? It kind of is because a lot of people don't have these, you know? Because they came out so long ago that this is like an update to old figures and I feel like it's a really special opportunity that you can get some awesome figures with updated, double-jointed, more articulation arms and stuff like that. So, I don't know, man. I think in some ways the OGs are better, but in some ways these are fire and I really enjoy this Sean. I enjoy this Undertaker and it'll be interesting where these where these land in the ranking I'm excited for the ranking coming with this wave but that is gonna wrap this video up man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts on these down in the comment section below is this a cop or a skip you guys can let me know you shout out to our patron army over there guys thank you guys so very much for your patron support if you guys are interested in becoming a patron member of the channel definitely check out the links in the description below also if you guys are just fans of the channel i would greatly appreciate you guys just checking out the pro wrestling tea store link in the description below like just some standard merch just to support the channel would go a long way i 
I'd greatly appreciate it. So if you guys are interested in that, check that out as well. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. You'll never be